Hello guys, and today I'm going to cook, um, or rather just heat practically, nothing fancy here, a um, Chinese inspired stir fry mix, okay, from Tesco. And yes, it's out of date, it's currently the 30th of September. Apparently, later today, um, Vladimir Putin will be doing a speech where he will. Um, Basically, apparently, annex four areas of Ukraine, including Donbass, into Russia. I've had, there was, I believe, a referendum yesterday, which nobody um, in the West would take seriously. I could not have known that on the 25th of September, even though people had been suspecting for years this would happen. It was only a matter of when. As I said, today it's been reported that Vladimir Putin will apparently be giving a speech later today, apparently, or if he's not already done so, about this, okay? So there have been the referendums in parts of Ukraine as to whether or not they want um, to become part of Russia instead. As I said, the West, um, I'm only doing, however, thinks they're sham referendums now, but, but Russia will respect them. Now... The point I'm telling you is not because I'm trying to tell you news, but just purely and simply to show you that this is out-of-date food and that it is not being eaten on the 25th of September, okay? Anyway, it says Chinese-inspired stir-fry mix, a classic mix of water chestnuts, bamboo shoots and crunchy vegetables. And on the back... It shows you some of the ingredients. It's got a reduced price sticker. Normally this would have been £1.60. It was reduced down to 53p because I bought it on the day it was due to expire. Um, they say, I've already told you what it is. Water chestnuts and bamboo. Water vegetables with water chestnuts and bamboo shoots. There's the reduced price sticker. And here it's got Peel for cooking instructions. So what you can do is I slightly did this earlier so could it make it easier. I can do this, and now you notice I can peel back. So you can peel this, and then you get the cooking instructions when you peeled it back. And it basically says, heat in a dry wok. I wonder why it's dry. Over high heat for two minutes. Add oil. And the vegetables directly from the tray. Stir fry for four minutes, stirring continuously and serve immediately. That's probably why they said straight to wok. Now I have some sunflower oil here which I'm going to be using. I think it's out of date but I'm not really bothered about that. Um, they're usually out of date. Um, I think it's so out of date I can't even see where the date is anymore but never mind. Yeah, I think it was printed on here, but it's come up. It doesn't matter anyway, it's only cooking oil. But this is the really interesting thing. They don't tell you to do this, and I don't think they even want you to do it. But I'm going to do it anyway. I have here some nearly 12 year out of... Okay, and also, I'm going to use some nearly um, 12 year out of date um, soy sauce, okay? Now... Because, I, because um, of the way the recording went, um, as I said, um, I had to stop recording it. I clicked on something by mistake. So, but to prove that like, this is continuous, there's a soy sauce, dark, and it's got it, 11th of 2010, as I said. It is currently the 30th of September 2022. And as I told you earlier in the first part when I showed you the straight to walk thing it does here say it say straight to walk yeah straight to walk um chinese inspired stir fry mix just to show you that i showed you this earlier and as i said i'd mentioned um the referendums in ukraine just to prove that i've not just suddenly put two completely unrelated videos together so i'm going to be adding that which it doesn't tell you to do, as well as the sunflower oil, even though they say, no, they just say oil, so it doesn't matter. 
And so I'm going to be cooking this in a moment, okay? So there you go guys, I've shown you everything, um, on here it's got some, also on here it's got some nutritional information, um, So it says how to make the perfect stir fry. So it does mention sauce, so I'm going to use soy sauce, okay? So it does mention in the end, it said, so it's saying fill a perfect stir fry. They mention noodles, so I'm not going to add any noodles, I'm afraid. I'm just going to use what's in here, um, to be honest. And I'm going to, it says add sauce, I'm going to use soy sauce. And I'm just going to guess it. So there you go, guys. And it gives you some information about how you can recycle the tray. But you can't recycle the film, that's the top part, you know. Or the almost like the lid if you like, but it's not a lid, it's just a film lid, okay? And it's got some nutritional information. And anyway, you get the idea. So I'm now gonna cook it, okay, because I'm a bit hungry, okay? Right now I'm putting a frying pan on top of um, a hot plate, okay? You're supposed to use a wok, but I haven't got one. A frying pan's good enough for me. What the difference is, I have no idea, to be totally honest. So, I'm gonna turn the heat on. You see the light just come on. The light goes off, the light goes on. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna be opening this up for you. So this is the, again, the In case people think I've cheated, there's the label and fork. And to open it, while it's doing that, I'm going to get this ready. I'm going to open this up. So that's soy sauce for later. Have some sunflower oil. I probably should wait longer, but as I said, because I'm filming, I truthfully can't be bothered. So, as I said, normally it should take longer to do this, but. You know, when you, they do it in a the studio, they don't do this, so for once I'm going to do things quickly just to please you guys, okay? Here I have the sunflower oil going in. Ouch. Yeah, it's quite hot, so I need spatula to do it. And in a minute, I'm going to put in the stir fry. So, so now I've got the vegetables. So, I'm going to put these in. So, I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to have about half, and then have another. Have some more number day. It tells you to cook it for about two minutes. Go. 
screen time while it's doing that I'm just going to quickly go down the stairs and get um, a plate By the time I've got the plate, knife and fork, it should have done. Okay, so I'm going to quickly stir it again. Some of it looks like it's stuck to the frying pan. So that's one of the problems with this kind of frying pan. Where I can see brown at the bottom out of nowhere. Still going to turn it down. This will stay heat hot now for quite some time so I won't need to turn it back up again that's what you get by ha with having a ceramic hob because they tend to stay hot for a long time once they've heated up now what I'm going to do I think that's easily two minutes Put a plate upside down on it. This is just to warm the plate. So the steam will heat the plate up. It's not perfect, but it um, stops the plate being really, really cold as I wash the plate. Also, I'm be careful with this. I have it turned off so it's not going to get too hot but it's still warm so if you have do this too much it will sm it will break the plate so it'll do it's slightly warm so it'll do now what I'm going to do I'm going to stir it a bit more Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the soy sauce in. So now I have the soy sauce. And now, as I said, this is the, um, just in case you think I'm cheating, this is the 2010 soy sauce. I'm just going to show this so that you can see I'm not cheating. That's the soy sauce. I'll stir that round. I'm 
yep, I'm really am going to be having nearly 12 here soy sauce with it. Instead, I'm using a frying pan. What the difference is with a wok, I have no idea. I'm sure some Chinese expert will explain the difference, but to me, a frying pan is perfectly good enough. I suppose only if you cook an awful lot of this. Then, but as I cook just for myself, because my mum doesn't like um, strange foreign food, and she's fairly traditional on what she likes, and so this is just for me, you know. And I don't really see the benefit of getting a wok. I might sometimes just out of curiosity just to show people if I get some spare cash, but. There you go. Not sure how long I meant to keep this stirred for, but it'll do. Um. I've usually left it for about a couple of minutes or so. Um, yeah, they say about a minute, so that will do. Right, that's easily a minute. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the plate. I'm sure the Chinese would eat it with chopsticks, but I'm going to eat it with a knife and fork, to be completely honest with you, because I'm European and most Europeans eat everything with a knife and fork. Well, practically everything. <laughs> so there you go. Now, I'm going to eat it. So right, now I'm going to eat it, okay? Okay guys, so now I'm eating it, okay? Right. I think this is... This is the bean sprouts. I should have um, This looks like the chopped pepper. This is the cabbage or lettuce. I should have. I'd like just to see what was in the thing. Yep, so, okay. These bits are the water chestnuts. Chopped water chestnut. Um, these are the bamboo shoots. I'm just showing the back, but this is probably going to make a complete mess. Tell me, um, I think it says cabbage, but I can't tell because there's a sticker on the back. So, and the price sticker covers it, but I'm it looks like cabbage to me, so.
the um, soy sauce still tastes okay, even up to nearly 12 years. And so it's officially It's officially practically um, I want to be strictly accurate, it's 10 years, sorry 11 years, 9 months and 364 days out of date officially if you want to be really strict but I'm saying it's nearly 12 years There are lots of Chinese takeaways in England, which, in Britain in general, which sell Chinese food similar to this. I think we've had Chinese takeaways pretty much since the 80s, possibly earlier. Obviously in London they would have had them. Chinese takeaways became very popular. I think people, however, have gone more for Indian food now, even white people, believe it or not. But I'm not in the modern world, so I don't talk to that many any people really in my city to know what people have anymore. No, I'm not in the kitchen. I haven't been preparing this in the kitchen at all. This has been what we call the landing, which is basically the um, upstairs um, walking area, the up area upstairs where you walk along, almost like the hall, but an upstairs version of that, which we call the landing. I've done that because it's the easiest way I have found of filming this kind of stuff. Although they mention straight to wok on the um, packaging, I can't remember the details, so please forgive me on this, but I know in the 90s, I believe, um, there used to be lots of what they called straight to wok adverts, where I think straight to wok was even a brand name or something like that. And... You can buy various um, Chinese meals similar to this, where you just um, open the packet, put straight into a wok and frying pan, fried it, and very similar to this. 
um, had a complete meal. They may have even had sauce with it. I don't know how they did it, but, you know, I never bought one of those packets, to be totally honest, but... There was a lot of advertising for it regularly on the television and things like that. But, this is some sort of... I know this is uncouth and you shouldn't do it, by the way, but I do. I just don't like to see food wasted, so I'll scoop um, the gravy like this onto a knife and eat it straight from a knife. I know you shouldn't do it, but I think it's a waste not to, okay? But this is very uncouth. Okay, you're not supposed to do that. I think it's a waste of good soy sauce not to at least try and eat all of it, okay? Right, I'll probably finish more of this off later by using my fingers, but again, very uncouth, but never mind. So, there you go, guys. Chinese inspired stir fry mix from Tesco. And they say it's part of a meal deal, which I think means um, you can have like a drink. If, if it hadn't been reduced, you can have a drink with it, I believe, and some crisps as well, or some of the things. I can't remember truthfully, but I know they've got various meal deals, I believe. Um, and it says they're four minutes in the wok, so that means you heat the wok up, you put um, the oil in, then the vegetables, then the sauce, and I think you can do the whole lot in four minutes in a wok. So it's really for people who want a quick meal and don't want to spend hours and hours preparing things, okay? And that's another reason why a lot of these, this kind of food became quite popular because people could easily cook it and you didn't need a lot of skill, you didn't need to peel anything, you didn't need to worry about it, you just put them straight in as they were and just stir it round a bit, okay? Okay guys, thanks for watching, bye!